Hey guys, Michael Huber, architect. I want to update you quickly on our new residential project we have going in Stillwater, Minnesota. You know, often when I start with uh, me with clients for the first time, they bring me magazine clippings or images they've seen on the web. But these guys were great. They actually had done a lot of thinking about at least the main level and um, started to lay it out on an Excel spreadsheet uh, where each square is three inches. So uh, kind of cute and uh, actually worked out pretty darn good. Uh, let's take a look at the final plan um, based on that Excel spreadsheet. And uh, you can see we've got uh, an entry, um, this hall connecting to a back entry where currently the uh, garage is a detached garage. We've got a mudroom, uh, guest bath, and we have an opportunity for this stairwell to become a feature or an artistic piece we have a, a front office area, walk-in pantry, large kitchen, dining, uh, living, uh, with a, a wall of cabinets and a wood stove. But you can see the living room is a little small. Um, so we will be adjusting that. I'll show you in a second. Um, in terms of the massing, we want to keep the form very simple. So uh, we've looked at having that kind of central uh, rectangle piece be the main volume where then we're breaking off of that volume with the the mud room um, the kitchen areas but we looked at a simple uh, gable form with this wrapped around porch we looked at using an offset gable to give us a little more height on the upper level um, and potentially less height where we don't need it maybe over the stair we looked at going with the shed roof form um, there will have this will have to follow some historical vernacular aspects of still water so not quite sure if that will will make it or this volume they they did really like a home i designed where i had this arch roof form so just uh, again playing around looking at flat roof um, looking at uh, trellis forms you can see here i've added four feet to the living room plus a screen porch which they really like so I thought that might be kind of a fun, um, fun thing to take a look at. All right, so let's jump back to the main level plan. Actually, let's look at the site here quick. Um, you can see the property lines. Uh, to the south is this ravine, uh, again, heavily wooded. But you can see with bluff line setbacks, um, we're down to like a quarter of this already small piece of property. Um, so okay here is the adjusted main level you can see we pushed and pulled things eliminated that front porch area um, so we'll be restudying this entry piece but you can see by adding four feet to that living room that makes it feel a little more comfortable and then having the screen porch area is going to be a nice uh, a nice addition uh, the lower level again there were challenges there and so we did a number of different studies. They wanted um, for their daughters, like when they come and visit, to each have their own separate bedroom with attached bath. So we have those on the ends with a commons space, uh, kind of family area uh, in between. And again, they wanted a, a walkout. We're going to have to terrace some things um, so there's access from the backyard. The upper level, basically that entire upper level, really is dedicated to the master suite. But because the stairs in the center, it kind of uh, goofed things up a little bit. We had to, had to shift, uh, tried a number of different options of shifting the pieces around. But I think this is uh, the direction where we're headed now. So you come up the stairs, there's a, a little hall closet. Uh, but then we've got uh, the, the master bed area proper, large walk-in closet behind uh, the master bath. And then this away room space, currently they want a little laundry area but it could be an office could be a workout space um, maybe down the road if uh, they sell it and someone has an infant could be a crib, crib room uh, off the upper level um, all right let's take a look at some massing here so this is currently where we're at um, massing wise you can see uh, we ended up going with the offset gable form for the moment uh, the garage in the back, you can see how tight that is to the home. So we, that's why we may end up looking at attaching it, even though we did kind of like it as a detached uh, garage to help break up um, the, the home itself. Let me jump to a clean, clean model here. 
All right, so you can see the entry porch again, bath, mudroom area, the office. Um, there's a way room on the upper level. Here's the, the kitchen bump. We have bedroom on the lower level with the family area and the access. Um, and then we have the living room and uh, the screen porch. So I think, I think it's starting to, uh, to look pretty good. Again, we're keeping the form simple, but we're playing with uh, textures and colors to, to help animate uh, and break up the form. So in any event, um, I will keep you posted as we move forward. I'll be looking at the interior next. Uh, what does that stair look like, that wall of cabinets? We'll keep refining the plan, putting it into CAD now to make it even more real. Um, so anyway, we'll keep you posted, so thanks for watching.